Hi, I'm Jared Bodiger, Education Services Manager for Deskcase, and today we're going to talk about how to predict machine failures using oil analysis. Now, for a long time, people have used oil analysis to determine when to do an oil change, to do a so-called condition-based oil change, and for other reasons, but a lot of people ignore the value of oil analysis as a predictive maintenance tool because they have others, such as vibration analysis and thermography, etc. But oftentimes, oil analysis can be the most sensitive predictive maintenance tool we have. We can identify where debris at a very early stage in the failure process. When a machine starts to fail, it typically wears first, and we can see that wear debris with oil analysis. The first test that we can use is elemental analysis. It's a simple test. It's included in almost every oil analysis report, and it tells us about the concentration of all the different metal elements. So some of those are associated with wear, like iron and copper and tin and chromium. Others are associated with contaminants. Others still are associated with lubricant additives. We want to focus on the wear metals. Now we can use statistical analysis of historical data to identify alarms or limits. We can have a warning limit, which tells us if anything goes above that, we may need to take a closer look. We can have a critical limit that, among other things, may trigger further testing. So if we have a, an iron concentration that climbs above our critical limit, that might trigger a PQ test or a direct read ferrography test. Now PQ, which stands for particle quantifier, is an indexed value that tells us about the amount of magnetic material that's in the oil. This can be very useful. It's a useful thing to trend. We can also apply similar statistics to PQ values and set limits the same way. The next test we would want to do, which is a little more involved, is direct reading ferrography. And direct read ferrography also tells us about ferrous density or the amount of magnetic material in the oil, but it separates that amount into DL, which is for particles larger than five microns, and DS, which are for those smaller than five microns. So we can use those two values to do some, some meaningful calculations. And one that I like to use is called PLP, or percent large particles. So if we know the ratio of large particles to total particles, that is a very meaningful value we can trend. Essentially, as a machine component gets closer and closer to failure, the wear particles, we would expect them to get larger and larger. So an increasing PLP means we are getting very close to a failure. Beyond DR ferrography, we could do analytical ferrography, where a data analyst takes a sample of oil, isolates the magnetic material, and then looks at it under a microscope to make decisions based on the size, the shape, and of course the metallurgy of that material. Now one of the things, especially with the previously mentioned test, one of the things that we really have to do well to make this meaningful is sampling. We have to get good oil samples. If we don't sample consistently, we need to sample well, we need to get a good valid sample that gives us good information, but it also needs to be very consistent because the consistency is going to is going to factor into those, those statistical alarms we set, and that's what's really going to determine the sensitivity of this PDM tool, or of this aspect of oil analysis as a PDM tool. So we've got to sample well, we've got to sample consistently, and we really need good documented procedures to, so that different technicians can take samples and we can get the same information each time. So oil analysis is you know, it's been around for a long time. Most people do oil analysis, but most people don't use it effectively for predictive maintenance. Add this component to oil analysis in your PDM program and you'll reap benefits from doing so. I'm Jared Pottiger and this has been Using Oil Analysis for Predicting Machine Failures.